Hi beautiful friends, thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, so I just wanted to make an announcement before I get into your read. Uh, I will not be making personal readings during the entire month of May because I'm going to be at a yoga retreat for 20 days. I'm getting certified to teach yoga and I'm not going to have any time at all to do personal readings. So I will be uploading the videos onto YouTube um, probably at the end of April but I will not be doing monthly readings or um, personal readings for the month of May. So if you want a personal reading for May, uh, I would suggest to get it done in April. I will be lowering my prices as an incentive to um, get it done in April because I will not be able to in May. I will not have time at all. So thank you so much guys for listening to this announcement. Let's get into your reading. Hi Taurus, welcome to your March 15th through the 31st general tarot reading. I'm just shuffling you guys a crowner, so let's see what you guys got in store. The King of Air. And the Moon. The King of Air says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. And then the Moon says, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So, with the moon in the heart of your reading, I feel like a lot of you are um, coming into your psychic abilities, or you're just having a lot of psychic insights right now. Some of you guys could be having like premonitions, or like, you know, you're experiencing clear audience. You're hearing things talk to you, you're having visions. There's something going on behind the scenes. Some of you guys could be having strange dreams right now during the nighttime. And it is because we are in a period of release and a lot of subconscious programming, fears, thoughts, um, they all rise to the surface during your sleep state to be brought to the conscious mind. So. You guys could be having some nightmares right now, or just um, a lot of worries. Oops. There's some light shed around a lot of worry. Some of you guys could be trying to find that fine line between intuition and anxiety. Some of you guys are going to be severing a lot of your connections here. Or not just connections, like I don't see it as connections, like options. Some of you guys had a lot of options here in romance, and you guys will be um, coming off as very cold to those options, or just cutting them off completely. Because some of you guys realize that you want a commitment. Some of you guys are cutting off some um, options because you want a commitment, or you're moving into a commitment. Somebody's moving away from a bunch of options and moving into something very stable here, something very committed. Could be an air sign, could be a water sign, could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Um, maybe some of you guys are realizing that you don't want to be single anymore, that you guys want to be committed. Clarify the moon, please. The Hermit. Yeah, like I said, some of you guys are coming into some sort of psychic awareness um, because you've been going within. I feel like there's a lot of psychic stuff going on right now. Maybe there was something mystical here that happened that caused you to walk away from some options. Like the universe came through and did something. Like maybe you saw like a spirit or... Like some of you could have seen the spirit of an old man during the nighttime. Um, if not, I feel like some of you guys could have experienced something very weird. Like, I don't know how to even explain it. Just, like, trippy. Like, something really trippy. Um, it was like an illusion of the universe, basically. With the moon and the, the seven of cups. If, the, if this resonates, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, it's some sort of, like, supernatural experience. Because the seven of cups can be a supernatural card, especially with the moon. Interesting. 
So, there could be some sort of reflection that's going on here in secret. Like, you're not being very vocal about this, Taurus, about this reflection. Yeah, somebody's realizing that being committed is what makes them happy here. There was illusions surrounding that. And those illusions are clearing away. Because some reflection comes through and somebody realizes that commitment is what they want. Whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with. Clarify the Seven of Cups, please. Yeah, Knight of Wands, I'm telling you, uh, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Someone here was in a very player energy. They had a lot of options. They wanted to hit it and quit it. Like, that's the kind of energy I get from the Knight of Wands. Um, somebody's maturing a little bit, like, with this King of Air. Like, they're moving from a knight to a king. Um, and they're being logical in their thinking. Like, somebody's here thinking, like, these options aren't going to be around forever, but a commitment possibly will be. This is more, somebody's realizing this commitment is more stable than any of these options that are being presented here. As somebody here is moving out of that player energy and into a very committed energy. Clarify the hermit, please. Two of Cups. Some of you guys could be connecting with a Virgo. If not, I feel like I'm telling you guys, some of you guys are realizing that you want commitment. Or somebody in your awareness could be a Virgo for some of you. It could be like the moon's energy that makes somebody realize this. There's a full moon, I believe it's on the 20th, in Libra. Um... It's going to create some energy that brings up this reflection in you or the person that you're dealing with. And it's going to make someone realize, it's going to make someone look right at a soulmate connection. Clarify this Ace of Cups, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, Six of Cups. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with lots of water energy here. Could be Pisces or Cancer for some of you. Um, if not, I feel like the moon is going to be very significant for a lot of you. It's in the, the heart of your read. So be very mindful of this next full moon that's coming. Because I feel like there's something going on with the moon phases, Taurus. You're, very, you're becoming very in sync with them. And it's creating shifts within you that is creating shifts within your life. Some of you guys are going to be... I feel like some of you could be keeping secret some feelings. Like some, somebody is keeping secret feelings, like keeping their feelings secret. Like, they're thinking heavy about this connection, but they're not being expressive about it. And this is all done in the dark. Like, somebody is secretly thinking about a soulmate connection. They're reflecting on a soulmate connection. Clarify this Four of Wands, please. Whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody is quietly reflecting. Wow. Some of you guys could have put an ending to a commitment here. Interesting. That's crazy that the Ten of Swords came up. This is a pretty, <laughs> this is a pretty uh, positive reading. And then a negative card popped out. I mean, I don't always see the Ten of Swords as negative, but typically it's a pretty negative card to get. Um, I feel like, some of you guys are putting an end to a connection. Or, interesting, some of you guys are moving forward with a connection that's already dead.
remember you're moving towards a connection or a commitment that's that has died. It's it's been it's ended. Pro possibly because of betrayal. I feel like what's going on here is someone maybe was trying to be like a player and they hurt somebody in the process because they wanted to keep their options open and maybe this full moon brings some sort of realization here because someone is still thinking about this connection Like someone here is still thinking about this connection and I feel like the moon might make somebody move forward towards something where there was a betrayal. Let me pull you guys an advice card. Because there's something here, Taurus, that makes you very fulfilled emotionally. Whoever you're dealing with is a soulmate. Like strong soulmate energy, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. Somebody could feel like defeated. Like they don't know how to even start this, they don't even know where to go with this. Pull me an advice card for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. I do see someone going through with a connection though, because it's like you're moving forward towards a dead connection to try and revive it. Because you still think about this connection. There's like some feelings that haven't been said. Like somebody here is not talking about how they feel for someone else. Renewal on the 20th, guys. I'm fucking telling you. The number 20 pops out. <laughs> the number 20 pops out on top of the moon. I'm telling you guys, this full moon is going to bring someone back. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. I'm telling you guys, some of you, this full moon is causing you to switch up, or the person that you're dealing with, it's causing you to switch up your mindset and move towards something that's stable, something that has ended, but something where there still is emotional fulfillment and just genuine love. When I see the Six of Cups, I just think, you know, childlike love is so innocent and so genuine. You know, these are children in the picture. So you could, this person could make you feel like a child when you're around them. Um, like it's very, the, the love here is very childlike. I feel some of you crying. <laughs> Cause I'm, I don't know why I just get, I got so teary. Um, whoever this person is, they make you feel so fulfilled. Like I'm telling you, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it guys. <laughs> this is your eyes right now. This is some of your eyes right now. <laughs> this person could like literally, you think maybe some of you, you, like you think about this person and you cry because there is still pain here. Like I feel like you still love this person Taurus, but there is still pain here. So it's a lot of mixed emotions. I think that's why somebody's not speaking because they don't even know what they feel. You know what I mean? Um, but there is something that is being brought back from the dead. Something is being renewed and revived here. Could be on the 20th of March for some of you with this full moon. Um, but yeah, there's something that's coming back. Some of you are with the person that you will get married and have children with. Because there is a little child in this picture, the Four of Wands is here, there's children in this picture, and the Six of Cups. Some of you are taking steps to secretly revive a connection. Because you've been thinking about it very heavy. And you're starting to see how deep this connection really is, or someone that you're dealing with is starting to see just how deep this connection really fucking is. But... That is what I see here, Taurus. If you'd like to book a personal reading, please DM me or email me. My information is in the description box below, and I will see you guys in two weeks. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.